Hi, welcome to this SQL tutorial video and today I'm going to do a video on searching um, your database for tables or columns. So <clears throat> every database um, is made up of objects, some of those objects being tables and tables are made up of columns. But what if you've got loads and loads of tables and we're looking at trying to find uh, tables that have a particular column name. So as well as the tables and, and um, columns that we create ourselves in our databases, there is uh, system tables. And these system tables store the makeup of a database. So if you want to go and find tables that have got a particular name or tables that con contain a particular column name, um, then you need to interrogate these system tables. So I'm going to show you a couple of these system tables in this tutorial. Um, I'm going to be working with the EventureWorks database and I've uh, talked in a previous video about about schemas um, and you need to kind of be aware of schemas so I'll, I'll put a link to that um, original video in the description of this one. Um, so when, when we're doing, uh, when we're going to search for system objects we need to use the system schema so just um, briefly on this left hand side here is a list of all of the tables in the AdventureWorks database and the table names are prefixed with a word and a dot and this word here is the schema of the table and like I said I've done a video that, dis that describes uh, and explains schemas in detail and I'll put a link to it um, so I'm going to do uh, a select against a system table and like I said I need to use the system schema and that is called sys there it is um, and you'll notice that um, if I do one of these schemas person and then address persons uh, in black but if I do a sys schema you'll see I don't know if you can quite see but it is green and then when you put sys it shows you the objects that are within the system schema um, and the one I'm interested in is tables you'll see now that the sys schema color is green and the object within that schema is showing up as green because they are system objects so let me just do select start from tables that shows me a list of tables, 73 tables. Um, there's the name, there's, well, you can see various columns here. Um, when they were created, modified, the, the type. Um, there's all sorts of, of uh, columns in here. But what I'm kind of interested in, um, well, you could do with a few things, I suppose. You could see, if you recently created um, tables, then you can see what was... The, the latest table that you created. So we can just say, oh, Dubai, um, create date desk. Or oh, Dubai, modify date, or something like that. Um, if you wanted to know um, the latest table that was modified, then you can do the order by modify date. But what I'm kind of interested in here um, is just the name of my table. Or Dubai name. Um, so maybe I'm looking for tables that relate to sales. So I can say um, where name like sales. So there's um, there's the, the the tables table, and it stores the tables that you have created, not the system tables, the tables that you've created. So let us just get rid of that for a second. And now we'll look at um, a table called sys columns. And this stores the columns in those tables. So if I just run that, there's a list of names, column names. Um, oh, you've got types, data types, user types. Um, you've got column IDs. So this is the, the order in which the columns appear. Um, but these are just columns, so not overly helpful at the minute because really what you want to see is 
the table and the columns. So we want to join the columns table to the tables table. So if I just give that an alias of C, I want to do an inner join on sys tables with an alias of T. And the way these two tables join is by the object ID. So I want to say on C dot object ID. And you notice that goes pink equals T dot object ID. Uh, so I'll run that. Now we've got a lot of data here. Um, both the column and the tables tables data are being returned. So what I'm interested in is saying, show me the name of the table, which is t.name, and show me the name of the column, which is c.name. Um, if I just run that, then we get this. And now I want to order by t.name. So there are our tables. Um, ordered by the table name and then the columns in those tables but maybe what i'm interested in is finding the tables that have first the first name column or a column called first name so i can say where c dot name equals first name um there is the table person that has first name um if i just change that to put like see if it makes any difference no, okay, so it's still first name. What about the product ID? So we've got um, product ID as a, as a column. Let's see if that's in more than one table. It is. So product ID is a column and it's in all of these tables. So that's really good, really helpful. Um, you could, if you wanted to, actually just say what I'm interested in is seeing the makeup of the table address. So what we can say is show me um, t.name equals address. And there's a table, there's a column. Um, in fact, instead of doing that, we'll just show everything in the column. But we can then say uh, order by c.column ID, which is the order of our columns. Um, and we can say what I'm interested in is the um, name yeah, and the column ID. Oh my goodness. So, um, one other thing I wanted to show, I began this video by talking about schemas. Um, within the table table, or the tables table, there is... Um, a join to the schemas table. So if I just add in another inner join to sys.schemas, we'll call this S, and we're going to join it on T dot schema ID, not object ID, schema ID equals S dot schema ID. So now what I can do is I can say um, S dot name and I can put schema. And then after the C dot name, I can put column. Uh, and actually thinking about it, I want the schema first because that's how it is displayed. Schema, then table. So I want to see the schema, then the table. So now if I run this, there's our schema. And you can see that person dot address is actually the schema table um, combination. So maybe I'm not interested in um, that table anymore. Maybe I'm interested in the particular schema. So I can, do, I can say where the um, schema name equals um production um and instead of ordering by the column id i would need to order it by the um t dot name c dot name c dot column id um and if we go down here you can see production the first table in production is bill of materials and if we look in here at the columns there's our bill of material columns here that match this um, oh yes I'm sorry get rid of that name that's better now you can see that the order matches as well now that it's ordered by the table name and the column ID 
so that is how you go about searching for objects in your database. I hope this video made sense. I hope it was helpful. Any questions and comments, please, um, please leave them and I'll reply to you. Um, thanks very much for your time. See you next time.